So yes, my friends, it is time for our seventh project. So in this project, we're going to develop a traffic light application by using the enum type. So we're going to learn how values can be assigned to enums in this project. So first, let's create a new project in Java and specify the project name as enum traffic light. Now, don't change any of the other options. Just click the next button. And in this section, just uncheck create module info.java file. And then press the finish button. So in this project, let's right click on the source folder and select new class. And then specify the package name as traffic light and the class name as traffic light. So we can assign some custom values to enums. Let's define three constant colors in the traffic light enum class. First, red with stop as its value. Second, yellow with wait as the value. And last, green with the go value. So these definitions will also uh, call the enum constructor with one string parameter. So why don't we declare a variable action with the string type to get the values of enums. So we'll need to create a constructor called traffic light that takes one parameter action with a string type. We assign the parameter variable action to variable action of this enum. Now I want you to make a note here that, uh, a mental note that is, that the enum constructors can only be private or default. In fact, let's try to change the private access modifier with public. And yeah, we get a compilation error. So if you place the mouse pointer, just hover it right here on the word traffic light that's underlined with the red color. The error message, illegal modifier for the enum constructor, only private is permitted, is displayed as our message. So let's change the modifier to private again. Now, finally, let's generate the getter method of the variable action by using the method that you've uh, got to know by now from the previous exercises. Alrighty then, let's save that code. Now let's create a main test class. So right click on the traffic light package and select new class. Specify the class name as traffic light test. And then select the checkbox to add to the main method. And let's create an enum instance array. And its name is going to be lights. And we'll assign enum values to this array. So we use the values method of the enum class to get an array of enum values. So for that, we will use the for each loop to access enum constants and their values. So in four parentheses, we declare an enum instance light with the traffic light type, and we will add colon and lights array. Now we want to iterate each element in the lights array and store it in the light instance. So 
So we will want to access the name and the action of the enum constants by using this instance. So in the print method, first we'll call the name method to get the name of the enum constant. And then secondly, we'll call the get action method to get the value of the enum constant. So the name method is predefined in the enum type. And we can also use the toString method instead of this method. You can play around with that later. OK, so now that it's set up, let's run the code. And look at that. You see the results right there in console. Now light is red, and its action is stop. Light is yellow, and its action is wait. Light is green, and its action is go. So why don't we do this? Let's change the name method with the toString method. So there is a little difference between the name method and the toString method of the enum class, so I want to show that to you. The name method is final. So it cannot be overridden. But the toString method is public, so it can be overridden. But really, don't worry. On this level, you really can ignore this difference. So let's just run the code again. And you see the same results. 